Kamala Harris, in a recent interview, acknowledged the current limitations of paper straws while emphasizing the urgent need for innovation and sustainable alternatives. In her view, plastic straws should be banned. Leaders have to lead and plastic straws are a big thing right now. Yeah. Do you ban plastic straws? I think we should. Yes. I mean, look, I'm going to be honest. It's really difficult to drink out of a paper straw when you had, if you're just like, if you don't gulp it down immediately, it starts to bend. Yes. And, and then, you know, the little thing catches it. And then, you know, so we got to kind of perfect that one a little bit more. <laughs> so you ban it, but rely on innovation. I mean, we got, we got it. Yeah. Innovation is, is a process, right? You don't just do it. Innovation is a process, but, but, you know, let's, let's encourage innovation. And, and, you know, we, I think we could do a little bit better than some of those flimsy plastic straws, but we do need to ban the plastic. All right, we're going to have much more with Senator. More broadly, Kamala Harris champions the idea of minimizing government interference in daily life and upholding individual freedoms. However, her support for the plastic straw ban raises concerns about overregulation. Such measures, critics argue, limit personal choice and introduce unnecessary government control over small aspects of everyday life. The economic implications of this ban are significant. For many businesses, especially small ones, the cost of sourcing alternative materials can be burdensome. This financial strain on businesses and consumers sparks debate. Harris's call for innovation could be better served by allowing market-driven solutions to take the lead. Through free market competition, more efficient and superior alternatives to plastic, straws might emerge without the need for restrictive bans.